Hello guys, my name is Lalit Singh Mehta and today I am going to discuss about moment of inertia for some basic plane figures. So the introduction of the moment of inertia and the unit of moment of inertia is already, already being covered in my playlist for moment of inertia, you can check it out. So today we will see about moment of inertia uh, equations for some basic plane figures. So first we will start with uh, we can say a rectangular a rectangular section So for a rectangular section suppose this is b width and this is the depth d so the CG or the centroid for this plane area acts as B by 2, B by 2 and D by 2. So the CG for a rectangular section acts at B by 2 and D by 2. So it will be at the center, correct. So this is the centroid for this rectangular section which acts as B by 2 and D by 2 and suppose this is the this is the x x axis and this is the y y axis for this figure so the moment of inertia across x x axis and y y axis we have to get the value for this too the moment of inertia about the x-axis x axis and the moment of inertia about the y-y axis and the point at which the x-x and the y-y axis intersect is known as centroid or CG. So this is the rectangular section. So IXX is given by moment of inertia about x-x axis is given by BDQ by 12. You can note it down BD cube by 12 is the relation for calculating moment of inertia for a rectangular section about x x axis. Similarly for y y axis it is DB cube by 12. So these two are the relation for the moment of inertia about the x x axis and moment of inertia about the y y axis. So this is the first section which we have with us is the rectangular section. Now we will move for the hollow rectangular section. So hollow rectangular section it will be hollow this is x x axis this is y y axis since it is hollow so we have to hatch it. So this is capital B width outside width, this is capital D outside depth, the inside is small b and this is small d. So capital B is the outside width and capital D is the outside depth in small b denotes the internal width and small d denotes the internal width. So in the same lines as for a rectangular section, rectangular hollow section will be i x x. So here it is b d cube by 12. So here since it is hollow it will be b d cube by 12 minus small b d cube by 12. 12. So, if we it will be B D cube minus small B D cube. So, this is the relation in the same line as of rectangular section for a rectangular section. This is for a hollow rectangular section. Similarly, I Y Y will be it is D B cube by 12. So, here it will be capital D B cube by 12 minus small db cube by 12. So, we can take 1 by 12 common. So, it will be db cube minus small db cube. 
So, this is the relation for moment of inertia about x x axis and moment of inertia about y y axis for a hollow rectangular section. So, this is for rectangular section, this is for hollow rectangular section. Now, we can move for circular section. So, for a circular section, this is y y axis, this is x x axis, the point at which the x x and the y y axis meets is called a centroid. So, for a circular section, the i x x and the value of i y y are equal. Remember this and its value is pi by 64 d raised to 4. Suppose this is the diameter. So, d is the diameter of the circular section. So, i x x and i y y for a circular section is equal which is pi by 64 d raised to 4. Now, moving for the hollow circular section. So, I will draw the diagram for a hollow circular section. This is y y, this is x x. Suppose this is The external diameter is denoted by capital D and the internal diameter is denoted by small d. Capital D denotes external diameter, small d denotes internal diameter. So, the i x x and i y y for a hollow circular section are also equal and its value is pi by 64 external diameter raised to 4 minus internal diameter raised to 4. So, this is again like here in the rectangular section it was the hollow, it was moving in the same line as the uh, rectangular section, this hollow one again with circular section pi by 64 d raised to 4 and it is moving again in the same line as circular section. So, it will be pi by 64 capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4. So, this are the some basic uh, plane figures and moment of inertia relations for this plane figures. Now, if you want for a we can say for a semicircular section. So, suppose this is A C. So, as we know that for a semicircular section if we want the moment of inertia about AC, so it will be I AC, so it is half of what we have here, it is the half of cross sectional area the, for a circular cross section it is pi by 64 d square, so it is half of pi by 64 d raised to 4, pi by 64 d raised to 4. So, it is coming out to be, let me check, yes it is coming out to be 0 0.393 r raised to 4, 0 0.393 r raised to 4, where r is the radius, correct? Suppose this is the radius, so r is the radius, so this is i a c means base, AC is the base. So, moment of inertia about base of a semicircle is 0 0.393 r raised to 4. Now, the CG for the semicircular section acts at a distance of C acts at a distance of, I will rub this, acts at a distance of 4 r by 3 pi. So, this is important that for a semicircular section the C g 
which I will denote it by G, acts at a distance of 4 R by 3 pi from the base AC. So this, so if we want the moment of inertia about this G or centroid, then it will be I AC minus minus area 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 of this semicircle into h square so i will make you understand iac so iac we have already calculated here 0.393 r raised to 4 0.393 r raised to 4 minus area area of a semicircle is for a circle area is pi r square for a circular cross section area the area is pi r square so here the area of the semicircle will be pi r square by 2 half of cross section area of a circle h now h is this distance the distance at which the centroid is located from the base 4 r by 3 pi 4 r by 3 pi square so, if you solve this, it comes out to be 0.11 r raised to 4. So, it comes out to be 0.11 r raised to 4. So, this is I g. So, important things to note, I a c means moment of inertia for a semicircle about the base 0.393 r raised to 4 and for for the g for point g or which is a centroid the moment of inertia about the centroid ig is equal to 0.11 r raised to 4 you can denote this r as small r correct this is small r since we have denoted everything radius as small r so everywhere it will be small r so now it will be 0.11 r raised to 4 and one more important thing to note is the iyy for a semicircle is same as I A C. So, I Y Y for this semicircular will be moment of inertia about Y Y axis will be equal to I A C which is nothing but 0.393 R raised to 4. So, this is important thing to note. So, in this way we saw we saw 4 we saw number of uh, more than 4 we saw number of plane basic plane figures and their moment of inertia calculation for rectangular section i x x i y y for a hollow rectangular section i x x i y y for a circular section i x x i y y equal which is pi by 64 d raised to 4 for a hollow circular section again i x x is equal to i y y pi by 64 d raised to 4 the point at which the x x and the y y axis intersect is the centroid or we can say the center of gravity for a semicircle it was somewhat worth noting that for a semicircle the centroid acts at a distance of 4 r by 3 pi from the base this and moment of inertia about the base is 0.393 r raised to 4 which is half of this correct 3.3 r raised to 4 i g is equal to i a c minus area into h square where i a c is 0.393 r raised to 4 minus area is half of circle the area of a semicircle is half of a circle that's why pi r square by 2 and then h is 4 r by 3 pi this is the distance and so we got 4.11 r is to 4 and important thing to note is i y y the moment of inertia about y y axis is equal to i a c which is equal to 0 0.393 r is to 4 one important thing is how we calculated the moment of inertia about the centroid or the center of gravity so this is parallel axis theorem this is all about parallel axis theorem which i will explain in the next video so hope your concept about the relations which is being used for moment of inertia for some basic plane figures is clear now if you like this video do share like and subscribe my video and thank you for watching